Yo, I'm going to a show in Nigeria, in Africa, like, yo. After God fed the government. Naira Mali was arraigned on Monday after spending 10 days in custody of the agency. I was, I was a gangster, I was a gangster then. I don't like the way people hype him, like he's a god, he's a living legend. He's blunt and he's honest. We'll tell you the way it is. I do not like anything about Naira Mali. Naira Mali is not a role model. I know him as the best gangster in the UK. I'm in the streets of Peckham right now. I got the big bird call. I'm going to meet probably the biggest artist in Nigeria. If not the biggest, definitely the most controversial artist of Nigeria. He's in Peckham. This is where he grew up. I hear so much about this guy. I'm here to kind of get an understanding about who this guy is and what he does and where he's from. Yes, brother. My What's guy. What's going on? Come yeah, on, man. Know. Good to what finally you meet you, man. My what are you saying, Mr. Gang, yeah? Yeah. Well, go on. Sids. You saying you good? Brads. Yes. Snoops. So I'm in your ends. Yeah, it's I'm popping. in your ends. Popping. It, how popping. does it feel to be back? It feels nice, man. Still getting lots of love, man. I hear yeah, that. Man. Let's touch the road anyway, man. Up until recently, African artists were only really big locally. But over the last few years, artists like Wizkid and Burner Boy have globally exploded. Meanwhile, in the UK, there's a wave of Afro-infused rap that is dominating youth culture. Nigerian-born Naira Mali began releasing music in 2014, kicking off this wave of what we now know as Afro trap or Afro swing. Even global breakout star Jay Huss has been real vocal about Naira's influence on the genre. Naira has become an absolute superstar in Nigeria, with a group of die-hard fans that refer to themselves as the Malians. But the reason I'm meeting him here in the UK and not Lagos is because he grew up in South London as a member of the infamous No Manners Gang from Peckham, where he claims he's been arrested more than 124 times. Anyways, we got the drugs. This is Peckham, right? Normally, like Lagos Island in daytime, you know, you can get anything you literally want. See, when you was a bit younger, though? Yeah. Uh, was this, like, strip a little bit? Was it a little bit hot? When I was growing up, it was just gang, it was just stabbings, killings, you know, no one cares about nothing, just trying to break the law, like, oh. kids, adults. Everybody went to jail, you know, like, it's just trouble everywhere and you have to have it on you. It's better to get caught with it than get caught without it. Did you realise that, like, I kind of got to build a reputation somehow so that it don't, it don't get sticky for me? Well, I think it was people drawing me out that actually, like, got me into it. You can't keep asking me who am I looking at. But I'm not going to let you ask me that, you know, especially in... Peckham. Eventually, I started making names for myself, like doing the maddest. You lot had a big, massive reputation, man. Like, at one point, everywhere. Massive. We was the most violent people, like on board. I won't even lie. You see, back in the day, yeah. You see, if I met a girl, and I'm like, oh, where are you from? And she's like, yeah, I'm from Peckham. Like, come and meet me, <laughs> fam. <laughs> man ain't coming here. Especially in the night time, bro. Nah. On my ones. Would, it's not happening with I, no car. I, I, I won't advise it to. My friend used to serve drugs to the owner of this place, yeah? Uh, there was a dead body that got found there with about 500,000 pounds. Well, the man who owned the thing died with the, back, the money next to him. Yep. F it, now. This is Queen's Road. No, everybody know. This is where it started. Everyone know about this band, though. You walk past Queen's Road, you have like a hundred. Fixing, fitting through one window, screaming like, "Hey, hey!" But when you say this is where it started, though, like what, like what started? I said this is where the no man started. This is where the music starts from. Okay, is that music where you did Mary Joanna, Yeah, yeah, I'm that's there. why I shot the Mary Joanna video in there. Okay, and loads of videos. This band though, is even in the news. They said Queen's World drugs. Then you will see it. They shut it down. Got kicked out. How did you even get into doing music in the first place? I just took my friends to the studio for space on the song. 
So I jumped on it. Yeah, we released the song. Everyone liked my part. I eventually made one big song. I was on like, boom. And it went viral. It feels like that was the start of a big thing that's happening now. It was then Trent from Heli. That was one of the first official Afro trap, Afro bashman, Afro swing, whatever you're in the call it. Dreadlocks and tattoos, gangsters are feelings too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who the f you talking to? Fix your body, move, man. Stop the attitude. Oh, that there. We just met one of my the 4-5 gun, that's the loot. 4 to 5 gun, shots the loot. Come catch me if you want, I'm a Queen's Road. NC 1-5, fuck you. For someone who's never been Nigeria, yeah, what would you say Nigeria is like? It's like everyone running t towards that way, everybody. So it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. It's just busy, like, you know? Everybody want money, everybody want money, everybody. Bring me to Nigeria, bro. Come through, bro. Come through, you see a different lifestyle. Yes! I'm in Nigeria now, and I'm here to see Naira Marley. I know he's a big deal in London, but I heard he's a bigger deal in Nigeria. They're treating him like God level, apparently. Jack Hello! Big man. Big man. Big man. Lagos is like no other place I've been to. I can't lie, it's proper hectic here. So listen, yeah, last night when I went to bed, I was dreaming about, you know, waking up in the morning, having some yam and egg in Nigeria, and it being a complete vibe. But imagine my phone starts ringing at 6.30 in the morning, telling me Naira's going to be on stage at like 8.30 in the morning. I'm like, what? It's roasting hot. He's going to touch the stage in a minute. We need to go and find out exactly what's going on. I need to go and link him. What are you saying, brother? Made it, man. Good, yeah? Good to see you, yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah, come on, man. When you come into a place like this and you're like, not really from the country and you don't really speak the language, but you know one man, and you know, you hail him up, you say a little something to him, and then everyone says something and everyone starts laughing. You just got to laugh with them. They could be laughing at you, but you just got to laugh. They said, if you don't clear the track, the artist ain't coming out to perform. Everyone moved expeditiously. Because there's a lot of security here and there's some big straps. He's performing amongst the people. So you can imagine, like, being amongst someone that you rate highly and you don't see all the time, it's a bare hysteria, it's nuts. They're pushing around, it's, it's, ma it's manic. Pull up his gates and everyone just follows the artist. That was hands down one of the craziest shows I've ever been to. Naira has another performance later on tonight, but first I wanted to catch up and talk about his run ins with the Nigerian government. Naira was arrested in 2019 on charges for cybercrime, along with rapper Zlatan, who we collabed with on the track Amaya Yahoo Boy. 
a general term given to Nigerian fraudsters and scammers. Naira Mali on Monday the 20th of May pled not guilty to an 11 counts charge bordering on cyber crime and credit card theft leveled against him by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Naira had challenged the status quo addressing topics that are problematic if discussed publicly. Bro, obviously earlier on today, but that was crazy. It's crazy, it's crazy. It's bare hysteria. I can see like, you know what I mean, how much you meant to people there. And you said to me, that's minor. Yeah, because it gets crazier than that, you know? For real? That one was minor, yes. Growing up, when you was a kid around here, did you witness gangster lifestyle still though? See people dying over cutism and setting the teeth on fire, you know, and I witnessed it. Unlike Nigeria, where I see it, and in like London, where I'm, yeah, where I'm going through it. So, did you consider yourself like a, like a bad boy though? Like, did you consider yourself a gangster? I'm still a gangster, you know. I'm a gangster. I won't say I was a gangster. I'm a gangster, you know. I hear you. you. See, with the Yahoo boys, do you feel like it was made a bigger deal than it needed to be? They just named everything to do with fraud Yahoo. That one is wrong in the first place, eh? Nigerians are not even the biggest scammers. We're not even in the top 100, but we are like the face of it. What is a Yahoo boy? What is that like? I'm not a Yahoo boy. But contact me. Why did it become such a big deal then. Over there in UK, like, you can, we can say anything we want. Like, I can say, okay, I don't think the Queen is doing this. I don't think, I don't, you can say, no one's gonna come and arrest you. Yeah. Over here, you can't not do that. I was arrested for no reason. I was just talking too much on live Instagram, you know? I want to say the government see you as a little bit of a nuisance. They're just telling me to not talk too much. Some people definitely got a problem with me. Yeah. Like, it's just some people. Some people always gonna have a problem. This is Nigeria where I, like, you know, I can arrest them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it is. Because if you've been into a cell in Peckham, you know what that's like. Being in jail here must be a completely different thing. Yeah, it was different, you know. The biggest thing there is me thinking, yo, I'm going to a jail in Nigeria, in Africa, like, yo. Like, that's different, bro. But bear in mind, this is Nigeria, so I just talking, uh, I can't even talk much, so I'm just, you know. Yeah, I see your video, Sophie, and that's obviously like you based in a jail. Did you write that when you came out of jail? I had the ideas from jail, like the dance, the Sophie dance. When I first saw it and I saw the dance, and obviously people were saying what it was, I was like, oh, rah. It's like there's a spokesman for you know, or something like that. That's how it kind of came across, you get me? There was no one word in, in the song that says that's how people think it's I'm like me, I didn't So mind. what is this? What are you doing I, that? I could be rolling the dice. Oh, you're rolling the dice? I came I, rolling the dice like... Now you've got a little bit of money though. You reckon it speaks a bit now. You can kind of get away with saying a little bit more now. Not the money, I've got a voice. Yeah. And I've got my empire, I've got my millions, you know? Mm -hmm. I my hear family, that. my members. Yes. Naira was supposed to be playing at a festival at 10 pm, but his slot was pushed back until later. So we waited. And we waited. And we waited. Until finally, we hopped in the Bentley at around 2 a.m. I'm telling you, timekeeping in Nigeria is an absolute myth. Even at 2.30 in the morning, getting around Lagos is a nightmare for him. At one point, I thought they were going to pull him out the car. In the end, Naira had to throw a fat stack of cash at his car window just so he could get into the venue. The car journey was insane. Like, once one person shied out Naira Marley, it was like 500 people just started chasing after the car. It's nuts. I don't know how we're going to get out of it, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> 
It was 6.30 in the morning before Naira finally got on stage. But it didn't seem to matter. The crowd were ready for the Malian president. As with the first gig, security was tight. But this time, fans were jumping at the crowd trying to grab Naira. For a moment, I thought there was beef. Then I realised this must just be the way the Malians show their president love. Now everything's changed. I send them shop. I don't need the check. I'm a Yahoo boy. No heavy dancing man. Y'all, I'm a Jago boy with the check. Go man. Fam, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is crazy. Naira is a superstar out here. Like the love that they show my man is, it's kind of scary because there were people literally jumping out of the crowd and grabbing him. And for a minute, I'm thinking to myself. Like, is it some type of beef? But it's not. It's just mad. I don't know how he's going to get out of there. I'm going to let Naira's security worry about that, though. Man needs some sleep. I wanted to meet up with Naira one last time and finally try some proper Nigerian hard food. Naira, what's going on? What are you saying, brother? Hey, I'm starving, bro. OK, you want to try a pound of yam today? Yeah, bro, I've been trying to try pounded yam for the That's longest good. time. Can I get some um, planting as well? Is that, can that go or no? <laughs> what, is that too much? <laughs> I'm trying to, what, you can't mix the plants in You can't replant with it? Yam, mate. So, can't you? That's well. mad to me, bro. <laughs> I need a side of planting at least then. <laughs> Boom. Listen though, yeah, we went to the nighttime show and that was an absolute madness. Seriously, driving through, as soon as one person recognised you, it was, a, it was like carnage. The Malian president is there, you know, so... What's the best part of being Naira Mali? It's like seeing that people actually, genuinely love me, love Naira Mali for who he is. Yeah, the best part of Naira Mali is the Malians, like, you know. Was it hard transitioning that, that road mentality into doing music full-time and taking that seriously? It's not really hard to separate them from each other. I just needed to be ready. There was a lot of things I was waiting for, even though while I was in England. And I don't want no one trying to follow my footstep and go and die and kill themselves. Because I see it happen, I see people from my block, like, you know. I see them, like, turn gangster basically today and die tomorrow, you know. I just want people to understand that you can live your life, do not join a gang. Don't go out there asking people, who are you looking at? Or like, mm. it's over here now. You can sit on the floor and get up and you're still a king. Nobody judge you for yeah, that. Yeah, But that's only in England, you get. Mm. Over here, there's more to the world. No one really care. All people care about is money, you know? Get your money, you're the most beautiful person. Even though you know yourself you're ugly, you get money over here, you're handsome to the whole world, you know? Mm. So that's what really matters to me now, to be happy, you know? No one can really judge me now or anything. I'm yeah, good. I'm gone past that stage. I'm trying to get money, make my kids happy. Yeah. Family happy, friends happy. Anyone that come around me happy, and I'm happy too. That's it, boom. Yeah. Bro, I think, like, being here has been mad interesting still. Thanks for, like, welcoming me to your country and where you're from and stuff like that and just showing me, making me understand certain things, bro. It's been sick. You're welcome. Serious. You're welcome, man. One thing I'm going to do, though, I know that some, like, Nigerians are going to just be outraged by this, but see this right here, this planting, uh, dipping it right uh, in uh, a uh, this, uh, uh, yeah? Uh, dipping it right uh, in that. Uh, mm. You get me? New thing. <laughs> You're gonna go viral with this one you just done. New thing. So Naira's route to success has been an interesting one. From the streets of Peckham to having one of the craziest, most dedicated fan bases on the planet. It seems the pioneer of Afro Trap has shifted his focus from gang life to concentrate on his music. One thing that hasn't changed though, he still does what he wants. And with the Malians backing him, Who's gonna stop him, huh? Can't tell me what to do, smoke with f girls, what the f I want. You don't even know what the f I want. I just want to be happy that's all I want.